Salut Godas, this is Biski. Welcome to the new playlist. In this playlist, I want to show you two things that are going to be important for you. Upright and Riverpod. So the Riverpod, we want to use it for state management. And I want to show you uh, how you can use Upright. And with this Upright, we are going to develop a to-do application uh, from start to finish using upright and riverboard so in this first pro this first video uh, we are going to do a project setup to add the dependence that we need and remember we are going to use device so that we can have a template of our to-do application i am not focusing on how to design an application or those widgets so we are going to use an existing template if you are a web developer you and you know that the, when you are starting a project you can download a you can buy a template or download free templates for angular react need react or, or, or all sort of things but for this we are going to use device so that we can get we can use these templates to develop our to do application so let's go to device and download the to do to do template after that we can start we can start to add dependence that you are going to use so let's log into D, to device So on our to device, you have to sign in. I already have an account. If you don't have an account, you can sign up and log in. So I'm going to log in with the with my Gmail account. So I walk you through step by step of doing this. So here you can say new application, create from templates. so i want this one you can see this is a list of templates that you can use from device uh, so for me we want to use this to do this to do one and i want to use this template and i can call it to do and i will choose the technology which is flatter there are other technologies that are in here i can cancel and you can see there are, so far they have this so i'm using flutter and i can say click create app okay i think i have an error let me try again it's now creating So right now it has created the to do application in my profile so you can you can follow these steps and you can create your own in your in your profile so I can say let's start so after splash screen is saying which screen should be a uh, next uh, next screen after splash screen so here I'll just say login or sign up after splash screen and then I click submit So with this application, we are going to learn upright authentication, how to save data to upright database, how to retrieve those that data, uh, f storage, how to save a file on upright storage and retrieve it, delete all the crude operations that you already know. We are going to implement this crude on the using upright. So it's another. A alternative for Firebase, and you can self-host your app your in upright. So let's continue now. And in here, this is the project. So I don't want to do any many things here. I just want to take it as it is. So I just say build up, and I want to use Riverboard. I will select the state that I told you. So I'm going to use Riverboard and click build with Riverboard. So let's wait for it to complete the build process so this is going to be our application structure so we are just follow this ap application structure okay i just say view code
so this is my code so i want to clone this project into my my local computer so that we can start to work on this on this one so what what i can do is like i can come back here i can come back here and i can go to settings of this to do application and in settings you can see they say integrations and i can go to integrations I, I, I you can link it to your gitlab but i want to use code sync or a little yeah i want to use code sync so with this code sync i can use this key i i have a tutorial so you can follow my tutorial of dys you can check uh, on my play on my previous tutorials i the tutorial for how, how to do all these steps is just confusing if i'm very fast i have the tutorial for that so i'm going to use vs code so let me open vs code so in this vs code we have to create a new folder so in my computer i want to create a new folder and uh, what i can do is just let me go to the terminal and i want to create a new folder i can first check if there is a which folder i am then i can say cd i usually in my id project that's where i want to to put my i want to create so i can say make directory and i can say to do here and i created for i created a folder called to do so here i just say file open a folder and i just go to my users and uh, i will select the to so this is going to be my so that uh, right now the folder is empty so if you pick an empty folder so you have to come back here in the device and you just come and copy this this uh, this uh, application token and you can come to your to your vs code and there's this icon so you have to add the extension for device so for that please watch my tutorial for dy setup so i then click sync a code sync code and here it shows a pop-up i say yes and in here i'll paste my token and i press enter so let's wait for the pro for the project to be synced as you can see this is the project it's now ready and the uh, we can start to test this project on our on our computer on our yeah on our computer because it's now already downloaded so this same structure is the same structure that you saw there as you can see uh, so what you can do is go to the terminal here and we can i can just create a new one which is in this folder and then i say flat pub get to download the dependencies so in our pub spec yaml these are the settings that we currently have and uh, i can see this setup i don't see a, i don't see river pod here so what i can do is just we want to test this application so let's go to cd ios and in my ios folder i want to download the dependencies uh, so for you just I, I want to first do pod install this command will not work on my computer because i'm using m2 chip so let me look for the command that i commonly used for me i use this command so for you if you don't use m2 chip you just do pod install for android you can start to run the application so i can do this so i can add this command in my readme file so that i have to look it so it's saying cannot find the runner test so let's go into the ios and uh, go to the pod file and in here it's looking for this for this ios 
so we can delete this and then save and we can run this we can try to run it again oh sorry we have to i removed the, the for loop and it's supposed to like this so here yeah, we need to update the deployment version right now it's so let me try with this deployment version 11 and see if it works yeah so after doing this we are now okay we managed to install these dependencies so we can come here in our runner and you can do run cancel let's open a we need let's select let's first select a dat file a main just select a main class and then let's click run and then we want to run on ios simulator so let's open in ios simulator so as you can see this is the application and uh, this is the application that we took from the a device template this is a to do and this is a splash screen so far we don't have functionality from moving from this splash screen to the to the next screen which is a login page so the next thing since i told you this is going to be our 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 project setup so i want to set up the dependence that you are going to use and the 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 first dependence that you want to use it's a go route so let's go to flutter flutter this one and you can open this so for installing it just come here and copy this command and come back to to our vs code and in the terminal just add this in your root folder run flutter add pub go router to install the latest uh, go route the version is 11.0.0 which is this one and we want to install we want to install again so just say riverport so let's go to the documentation of riverport but they are, we need to, to run these commands so we want to install riverport okay so riverport page has been opened so let's go to the version 2 which is the latest riverport and we want to go to the installation get started so for the installation for flutter we need to add this so just copy this and let's run this command also these are the commands that you are going to use for installation riverport So by running these commands i think it edited something here so uh, let's go to the i it i it didn't i will show you when you are setting up this okay so now we edit let's go to the public yaml you can see we have go out and we have river port and in here in the links i think we have we have this riverport length and generator so we are okay with riverport the another dependence that you want to add is in upright so we just say flutter upright so if you know the the the, the dependence you just say flutter upright okay let's go to the documentation of upright and let's go to the look for flutter this one for Android setup they do this okay let's go here let's go here so let's add this dependence or you can just run this you can also install so usually I love to create using this bash so we can open VS code and I can do this so we, we added upright let's see in our dependence yes we added upright which is version 11 
by this day of making this video so after we are done with this let's go to so if you are using riverboard let's go to the main so let's set up for let's do a minor setup for riverboard for your riverboard to work on the application so in here in the uh, in the run up main let's see if you don't if you have something here okay let's go to the my app and then you say provider scope so we have to repeat with provider scope then the child will be my app so by by adding this configuration our application is now using riverboard so we, we will be able to use the providers for riverboard so here we are done so the other thing that you want to do we want to use here we are using these routes we are using these routes and these routes are for we are using we are not using go router so in this video i want to show we want to set up for go route so to use go route let's go to the go route go router and let's go to the example so this is this is what you are going to do this is how you can set up the go router so let's copy this for go router and let's go to our file so let's remove let's remove this and let's paste this so let's make this static right let's import go route let's import it go router so after importing our first screen is not going to be a home screen or although we have a home screen which is in here but our first screen is going to be a splash screen which is the i think this is the screen that you are seeing so let's this is going to be our route our first route when you launch the application we are supposed to go to this so let's go to our routes and in here we have the we have this one so for this one our first one it's going to this one then at the routes that you are going to have we are going to have this one which is the login or sign up so just copy we have to come come here without a without a a parenthesis without a forward slash so you have to put it here and the login or a sign up screen you have to come here login or a sign up screen and we we can copy this and come to and paste it here so this is the basic setup and this one i can call it routes or a router it's going to be public so after doing this uh, we can go to our main class we have to configure this in our main class so in here we just say router and in this material this is the material app and i think we have to use the router which is this one and let's remove this and let's delete this and we don't have to use this one and let's look for the route config root config and you can use this one and in here we have to close this and we put a semicolon so after doing this we'll be able to use our applic our router so the first route will be our splash screen so let's just test this and we can come back here this is our main 
or we can reload the application. Let's look to the emulator. As you can see right now, we have configured our application to use the the go router. So if you want to change the the router, you just have to come to the routes to these routes. If you don't want this splash screen to be your first screen, you just come here and in here we just add a list of routers. We have to add a list of routers. All those pages, we have to add them here. We have to add these pages here. And the other page is in, which is this one. Oh, we already have this page. And we can have sign up screen. And for the sign up screen, it's going to be this one. So the sign up screen is this. So we'll come back to our routes and we can import we can import our sign up screen like this. So after so if you want to change our initial screen, it's easy. This forward slash means the default uh, the default. So if you want to change the default, so in here we have managed to set up our um, splash screen go router and the uh, river pod and you are going to uh, use river pod so in the next tutorial we are going to start up on the authentication and uh, moving from this plus screen and go to the login or sign up screen so that we can start the authentication and we are going to use email passwords email password as you can see on the device uh, on the device screen so in here On the login screen we are going to use email email and password and we are sh i'm going to show you how to use email and password using up using upright authentication so if you are new to this channel make kindly subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever you upload new videos salut coders